Hello, I'm Hugo from SA Maker and in this video, we'll restore this antique coffee grinder. I start by stripping the grinder down to its separate parts. The seat screw was a bit tight, but it started to move with enough force. The swing arm was so tight that it needed a good dose of oil and a lot of force. I remove all the rust and paint from the parts with a wire brush. I'm going to spray the screw heads, so I need to mount them on an old plastic lid. The jaws I'll leave paint free, as not to contaminate the coffee, so I'll tape them up with masking tape. I prime the spray areas with grey primer. Followed by a gloss black and a brilliant white for the inside of the funnel. The rest of the grinder got a clear coat to protect it from rusting again. Peeled the outer layer off too soon and some wet paint got onto the black. It could not wipe off. Luckily I could spray over it. The angle was just right so that no black paint got into the funnel. With the paint dry I could peel off the rest of the covering. With the paintwork all done, the grinder can be assembled.
gather together some orchids to mount the grinder. Later on, I'll make a better stand for it, but for now this will do. The blade was still a bit loose, but the quick adjustment of the set screw made it run true. And it is time to test the grind. The smell of the coffee being ground is amazing. That is one happy grinder. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe.